Hey, Smokeside fans, Johnny C. here in New Jersey. It is uh, April 7th, 8th, something like that, 2023. Uh, here is our latest project, the 12.0 DJC. You've probably seen some videos uh, earlier this year. Uh, taking this thing apart, putting it back together, all that other good stuff. Uh, anyway, uh, we basically have it, I'm going to say about 98, 99% complete. Uh, I guess I procrastinated on the cooling tins, but we got that all painted up and installed. So today we're going to give it a test. Okay, so basically it's all set up, except I got to get my little heaters out. Uh, we're going to be reading our uh, load on that little box right over there. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a 360 walk around this uh, 12.0 DJC. Just to give you an idea what we got going here. We've got a temporary muffler right here. Actually, it worked out pretty good. It's not dragging on the floor goes with the cart one of these days if I end up putting this in the generator room uh, we'll take care of that but anyway so again I'm doing a quick walk around and uh, just giving you a, a shot of what this thing looks like what do we have left to do on this by the way we got to put some owning decals on it since I'm uh, exhausting this thing out through the bottom okay uh, I got to put a little cap on this right here no big deal maybe a couple other small little things Anyway, so let me uh, get this thing all set up. Uh, actually, I just got to put the heaters on, get this thing started. I figure it'd be easier for me to talk about this thing uh, before I start up because it is pretty loud. Well, actually, the the mufflers, the muffler is pretty good. It's off of a Harley Davidson, a stock Harley Davidson. I got another one, so we'll use that for another gen set. All right, so I'll be back in a moment. Okay, we're back. We got the set running. It's run nice and smooth. Uh, we got ten portable little electric heater hooked up this would uh, obviously far exceed 12 kilowatts right now they're off uh, I didn't turn anything on this is my first load test since I uh, finished this well actually I lied I actually had a 5 kilowatt load on it going back a, few, a month or so ago kind of by accident uh, which, no problem with it but anyway today we're gonna bring this thing to its uh, to the ground I guess you could say uh, keep in mind this uh, gen set right here is 12.0 DJC has a flywheel off of a JC a 15.0 JC weighs about almost three pounds heavier uh, why did I do that the original flywheel that was on this set the uh, the ring gear teeth were all boogered up from a uh, starter that came with this actually a starter uh, that was on this uh, prior uh, of course uh, the JC flywheel it was in mint condition I just had to uh, recalibrate, I guess you could say, the timing marks, and uh, we put a uh, Mitsubishi uh, starter on it, which is more desirable than the original starter, which was a Presta light. So, you can hear how this thing sounds right now. Let's check out the oil pressure. We got good oil pressure. You can see from the uh, timing, uh, not timing, the flywheel cover, there's no dents in it. But if this flywheel launches, oh my god, we're going to have a big problem. It's going to find me way up there. Okay, anyway, just doing a quick walk around. And my plan of action here is, since I only got two hands, I'm going to start turning on these heaters in a moment and uh, gradually go up. And uh, looking at the, uh, I'm going to call it the dashboard to see where we're at as far as voltage, hertz, and load. Hertz, voltage, and uh, our current the load. So you'll see that uh, go up little by little. Then we'll just uh, play around a little bit. So give me a moment, I'll be back with you in one second. All right, smoke that fans. I'm gonna start turning on heaters one by one. I'm gonna be running back and forth between the heaters and my little box over there. It's gonna show us uh, what we got going as far as load and all that that I just explained. Listen to the motor, let's hear how it sounds, how it behaves, the whole nine yards. Uh, then uh, after that, we'll just, uh, well, let's see if we can get at least 10 to 12 kilowatts. Again, this is a 12 kilowatt YD generator head on it. Unlike my other uh, DJC, which is in my uh, generator room, I threw a 15 kilowatt head on it. And man, that thing cranks. Okay, so let's get started. All right, this right here is on high. Let's see what we got going here. Good start. We got nothing. Is it even working? No. All right. Well, I wonder what's going on here. 
here now. Oh, got something going here. I don't know what the hell I turned on. Maybe this uh, heater's defective? All right, I feel heat now. Let's go back to the uh, dashboard. I guess it's just that safety switch. All right, we've got 1,700 uh, watts on one leg. We got uh, 641 on the other leg. Didn't hear any uh, difference as far as uh, motor sounding. I'm going to turn this up to high. So I got one, two heaters, two heaters on high. All right, still got good hertz. 1,700, 1,600. All right, we're doing good, we're doing good. That's only two heaters. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, let's turn that on. Listen to the motor. Virtually uh, no difference in pitch, which is good. So now we got one, two, three, four. Four heaters on, full. See what we got for a load. All right, we got about 6,200 watts. We got good hertz. We got good voltage. All right, let's, uh, let's turn these guys on over here. All right, didn't really hear much of a difference in the motor at all. All right. start banging these uh, heaters on all right that's on how the hell you turn this on okay all right we got that I forgot what the hell I even turned on over here we got that on we got this on we got that on we got this on whoa it's tripping over the wires all right we're at 60 Hertz perfectly acceptable look at that we're almost at our limit right there. Unbelievable. All right, so. Okay, I got that on. I got that on. This I didn't turn on yet. Let's turn this guy on. All right. That I didn't turn on yet. That's on. That's on. That's on. That's on. That's on. All right, let's see what we got here. That's excellent. 60 hertz. Well over the limit now. We're good. We're good. All right. I think I only got one one other heater here. I have no more. Okay, so let's do this. All right. Okay, we got all our heaters on. I have nothing else, nothing else. We're over our 12 kilowatt uh, spec. You really don't hear much difference as far as uh, the motor. So what I'm gonna do now, okay, I'm just gonna run around and just start shutting off various ones, turning them back on. Let's hear how this engine behaves, okay? damn wires. Excellent. All right, so let me start turning on. Listen to the motor. Let's hear for hunting. Any abnormalities? Turn this guy on. Turn this guy back on him. Is this one running? No, that's running. That's running. That's running. That's running. That's running. Now keep in mind, some of these heaters will uh, will uh, cycle out. Okay, when they get up to temperature. Okay. Uh, good. Good. That's on. That's on. That's on. They're all on. Whether or not they're cycling out or not, I don't know. Clearly, you could 
see, we're, we're over the 12 kilowatt uh, limit that this thing is spec for. It's behaving perfectly. Not a problem whatsoever. All right, I'm really happy with this test right here. Uh, what else can I say? I mean, you know, uh, behaving beautifully. No smoke. Fully on startup, which is normal for a diesel. Everything running good. What else can I say? I'm really happy with this so far. I'm gonna let it run for a few more minutes. Again, I'm over 12 kilowatts. So, you know, what can I say? If this thing catches fire, that you know, what can I do? The flywheel, behaving beautiful. On the uh, full stack forum, there's some comments wondering like, you know, what's gonna happen? Because the uh, JC flywheel, which is on this guy right here, is heavier. Is it gonna cause any problems? Well, I only had this thing running for a couple minutes, but it didn't break the crank yet. Uh, well, like I said, I'm going to let it run a few more minutes off camera. Or maybe I'll just start shutting it down. I don't know. Uh, once this uh, project's complete, we got another one in. But it's not a DJC. You've probably seen the videos. This is a nice one. I love this one. Actually, I started taking it apart. Got this from Ben Trigger on the uh, Smokestack board. This is a gem right here. This is a V4 flathead, owning, and uh, it runs. Just a real quick uh, rundown on this because uh, the main view is on this guy right here. We got a low compression in cylinder two. We have some other issues with the governor. You know, a lot of gook in the engine. It's gonna come all apart, but I can only work on one project at a time. So we're gonna focus in on the DJC. This will be next. We'll have videos. Actually, we do have a video online for this guy. Maybe one or two already. As we start taking this apart, we'll uh, update you all. So anybody that's into the old flatheads, the V4, this is a V45, an Odin V45, uh, you'll love this guy. Anyway, getting back to this guy right here, we got all these heaters on, I can feel the heat. This morning out here, it's about 45 degrees. Right now, I think it's about 90, 90 in my yard. So let's see what we got here. Definitely well over 12 kilowatts. All right, so we're in the 13s. This thing is living up to its uh, name right here. Again, once again, this is the Onan DJC 12 kilowatt model. Oh yeah, we're running an electric fuel pump because the original fuel pump uh, there's a problem with it, so we just threw an electric uh, fuel pump on it. It's a Holly, uh, 15 psi. Actually, I think it's doing about 13 psi that we measured at can't argue with it so once again we're going to walk around before we terminate the video excellent oil pressure slightly charging the battery oh yeah if you're wondering what this is this varies the voltage okay it's an option that uh own have for the uh, j series sets you won't see too many of them out there with it it's a very easy thing to add on just a potentiometer you tap into the uh voltage regulator all right, so once again, the Odin DJC, our project that we've been working on uh, basically all winter, pretty much complete. A couple little doodad things and uh, we're done. All right, this is Johnny C from New Jersey on a beautiful, beautiful April day. Actually, it's, uh, is it Easter yet? Nah, it's tomorrow. But anyway, uh, you all take care. We'll see you soon. Bye.